Welcome to your Apollo mission update with your host, the Blockchain Braveheart, also known as Colin Stone, bringing you your daily dose of the ultimate all-in-one privacy coin. I'm speaking to you all the way from Scotland. Yes, I'm back from Texas. And in fact, as you may well already know, the entire Apollo team itself is a multinational operation, what is truly a global industry. Sometimes we can all be guilty of focusing too much on the Western world. So considering my background in journalism, I thought it would be helpful to take today's mission update on another news cycle around planet Earth from South America all the way to North Asia, simply to demonstrate the worldwide effect that crypto and Apollo is having on people's lives everywhere. So let's dive in and starting in Buenos Aires, where Argentina have settled an export deal with Paraguay by accepting a payment of Bitcoin. Although the purchase was for a small trade of pesticides and fumigation products, it's yet another sign of the growing acceptance of crypto at the very highest levels of society. The trade itself was done using Bitcoin before being converted into Argentine pesos to settle the account with the producer, with Latin American financial provider Bitex helping speed the deal along. On to Europe now and the country of Norway and specifically the city of Liberstadt, a private anarcho-capitalist settlement. The project to form a Norwegian city free from government interference has been running for four years now and this month the city announced it would be adopting a cryptocurrency native to its blockchain powered smart platform as its official medium of exchange. National fiat currencies are prohibited in Liberstadt and so the so-called city coin will rule the marketplace. Anyone want to come help set up an Apollo city with me? Give me a shout. Anyway, let's continue our world tour in Indonesia where new legislation has been introduced this month allowing crypto to be recognized as a trading commodity. News outlet Krasia first announced the story with a small number of digital currencies approved initially with plans for more to be added in the coming months. Although this is good news, Indonesia still bans crypto as a form of payment, but this bill is a big step in the right direction. Finally for now and heading north to Japan where an economic watchdog has asked the country's financial services agency to reduce the current tax rates on crypto. Income from trading cryptocurrencies is currently sitting at 55% in the country with the tax on stocks only 20%. The CEO of Rakuten, Japan's version of Amazon, has sent a proposal request to the finance regulator asking them not to harm innovation by imposing restrictive regulation on the industry. It's a similar picture in many places around the globe today, but it's an industry which is continuing to grow and continuing to hit the headlines just like our very own Apollo in the pages of Forbes and the LA Times. That's it for today. We're all out of time, but if you want to find out more about the most feature-rich currency in the galaxy, that's us, that's Apollo. We are, of course, all over social media in all the usual places. Do go and check us out. Join in the conversation on telegram turn on notifications if you're still to do so and thank you for watching mission update i'll see you soon